Hey guys, today we're talking about how to find the perfect swim trunks for you. What's up guys, welcome back to Jen's Lounge. I'm George, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and today, swimwear, swim trunks, the beach, the pool, the yacht, wherever you find yourself in swim trunks this summer, I put together a little lookbook of five different looks that I think will cover pretty much any occasion. So let's get right into it guys. Up first on the list, this look is very, very casual, very kind of activity oriented. So I went with some standard board shorts, not too short in length, just above the knee, which is where you kind of want, you know, the longest of your shorts to ever be is like right above the knee. This is probably the longest I will ever go. These shorts are from BYLT as well as the tank top, but this is going to be perfect for, you know, surfing, beach volleyball, wakeboarding, um, knee boarding, anything on a boat where you're getting pulled because they have that drawstring that's going to keep your shorts on if you fall off or find yourself, you know, having forces of water being pushed in directions that they shouldn't be pushed in. So this is definitely more of a casual look, but board shorts are going to be perfect for the beach because they don't have that mesh lining in them, so sand doesn't get caught up and just kind of scrape and, you know, you know how it gets, guys. So board shorts for the beach. These are very versatile. They'll work at a pool or on a boat or any situation, but these are probably the most basic of the looks that we're gonna do today. So remember that, guys. This is like playing it safe. This is simple. This is easy. This is if you need one pair of board shorts, these are the board shorts for you. All right, guys, and on to look number two, getting a little more out there, a little more wild. This is kind of a crazy print short, but if you look at it from a distance, it kind of looks almost one solid color, but if you get up close, you can see that there's some geometric designs and a really tight, small print. So, you know, this is kind of going to let you have a little fun with your shorts. These are from Vilbriquin, Vilbriquin. I can never say it, so if you know how to pronounce it, pronounce the comment, the pronunciation down below and uh, help me out here because I am not French, which I believe that's where they're from. So. Yeah, these guys make amazing shorts and they're kind of like, I don't know, like the Rolex of swim trunks, if this makes any sense. Because, you know, I don't really care if you're wearing a Rolex, but if I see you're wearing a Rolex, I know that you have done something somewhat substantial to afford said Rolex. And if you're wearing these shorts, you know, not everybody is wearing $200, $250 swim trunks. So I have a kind of an idea that you're doing something with your life or you're making some money or you're faking it super hard. So, you know, it's just kind of like one of those label things that if you see it, you kind of know where people are at in life and, you know, it might be someone to network with kind of thing. So, not that you need to go out and buy $250 board shorts or swim trunks. You can find tons of other options with geometric designs, but these ones are great for pretty much all around as well. I don't know if I would wear these to the beach because they are a lighter color. So this is kind of more like on a boat, maybe a hotel, like brunch pool party type thing or just hanging out at a friend's pool. So, you know, these are just gonna make a statement. They're gonna be fun. And, um, you know, if someone happens to notice the brand on the back, then you might strike up an interesting conversation. So on to look number three, guys. So for this look, I really wanted to move into the situation where, you know, swimming is an option, but it's not necessarily maybe the main focus of the event you're attending. So I paired this 60s style polo with these Park and Ronin striped shorts. Now these are kind of, I call them my fancy shorts because they have little um, like side tabs to tighten and they have like a pretty much like a suit, I guess, opening for, there's no button or Velcro or anything. It's like just one of those kind of slide tab things. So it's kind of a classier waistband for a swim trunk. So it definitely kind of sets you apart from the crowd and they do have kind of a classy vibe to it, which they don't necessarily look like swim trunks, but they're also probably the most comfortable swim trunks because even though they look like kind of a non-stretchy material, you can move so well in them. But these are definitely not your wakeboarding water sport shorts because every time I get out of the pool, if I just like push myself up on the side, you know, it's 50-50 whether my, uh, my butt crack comes out. So I you know, have to be pretty careful with that, but they look phenomenal and they're super comfortable, but definitely more of a classy vibe. So like, like I said, hotel brunch by the pool, that's kind of the vibe for this look. Like 
I'm gonna wear a polo and I'm wearing swim trunks if everyone else gets in the pool, but if everyone doesn't, I still look cool. So before we go on to looks four and five, I just wanted to say I did wear no footwear and the same sunglasses for every look because one, I know how you guys are, you menswear guys, about flip-flops or sandals or those situations, so I didn't even wanna attempt to start that conversation. That's probably a different video. If you wanna comment down below how you feel about it, I will listen to you. But um, yeah, I wore the same sunglasses just because I wanted to show that if you have a classic pair of sunglasses, you can wear them in any situation with pretty much anything. So on to look number four, guys. This is my, I guess I'd call it a vacation look. So I'm not really comfortable in this unless I'm somewhere, you know, super remote and super kind of just like, I don't have a care. Cause this is what that outfit says. It's a full suit from original Penguin, like swim trunks and matching shirt, as you can see. So this one is a bit crazy, a bit wild, but you know, if you're at a resort in Hawaii or on a beach in Mexico, you don't care. You got a margarita in your hand and that's kind of the vibe that this gives off. And I don't know if I'd recommend it for certain situations, it depends on your friend group and who you hang out with kind of thing. But this is definitely gonna make a statement at those resort type areas because everyone's there to have fun. Everyone likes a little something different and out there and you'll definitely get some comments, strike up some conversations. And it's definitely kind of an, an interesting look. All right guys, and last but not least on the list, this look is your Vegas pool party, your yacht party, your high-end hotel pool party kind of vibe because this is probably the most out there and semi-obnoxious looking one out of all of my looks, but I freaking love it because it's so out there and so different and you're never gonna see anyone else with the same look, I almost guarantee it. 209 Mar, 209 Mare, they invented this thing called the towel tuxedo or beach blazer and it looks like a full on blazer. It's tailored impeccably. I mean, this is straight off the rack. It fits me like a glove, but it's lined with a terry cloth towel so you know it's made for by the pool near the pool after you get out of the pool you can throw it on and still have those kind of i guess suited vibes while still being in swim trunks it really doesn't make any sense at all and it shouldn't work at all but it does and it's freaking awesome so this look is definitely kind of a situational thing but definitely on vacation like vegas day party and vegas even has those pool parties where you can wear swim trunks or like club attire to the club, which I always found super weird because half the people are in bathing suits and half the people are in like suits and like club gear, which is really, really weird because I actually want to be in the pool, but I actually don't want to be wearing swim trunks. So this option is freaking perfect for that because you look sophisticated, you look classy, but you can still get in the pool and have a good time. So, you know, this is one, probably my favorite look of the bunch, even though I will probably wear it the least unless I end up having a week in Ibiza or something. And yeah, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this was interesting for you. Remember guys, board shorts and like longer length shorts are kind of going to be your safe bet, your classic vibe. They're going to be able to do, you know, your activities, your boating, your wakeboarding, your beach volleyball, all that kind of stuff. And then I would say the lighter, the swim trunks, the more you want to stay away from the beach. So like if your swim trunks are white, those are like barely getting the water or making sure everything is super clean because obviously you sit in one piece of sand or dirt and they're done for. So I would say, you know, err on that side of patterns if you're going lighter, just so stains and stuff don't show up as well if you're sitting on the beach or whatnot and then, or just go darker towards the beach. So the more, the less white in your shorts, the better for the beach. And honestly, if you guys are not super tan, I would stay away from bright colors as well. So if you guys are kind of on the lighter, paler side and working on the tan, go a darker color short because you kind of got to be super tan to wear like bright neon colors and uh, like whites and whatnot. So think about that. And yes, I'm just rambling now, but if you guys have any comments or have any swimwear brands you would recommend, comment them down below. I will link to all of the swim trunks in this video. I don't know if all of them are still available. If not, I'll try to find something similar. And all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram at Jens Lounge. And if you guys like this type of video, comment down below and we'll do more of them. Cheers, guys.